Greetings family, Bomani Tamba here live on Revolutionary Cam. I know when I got this smile on my face, that's because I'm going to my favorite country in the world, Ghana. Got the soccer jersey on, well not soccer jersey, but the windbreaker on. And I got the, the Ghana shirt on and I'm here at the Atlanta International Terminal and we're just getting ready to board on our KLM flight. It is beautiful out here. The last few days it was freezing. We're at the International Terminal. This is their tower right here. I remember this working there at Delta Airlines, right there by the Technical Operations Center. And I saw this whole side of the airport get built. The International part get built over the years. And it's been amazing. That's what we do, family. So I'm always recommend, you know, if you're gonna do it, you know, do it the best. And you know, Delta Airlines is gonna get you there. We've been traveling to Africa for 16 years on Delta Airlines. I've been traveling all together 18 straight years to the African continent from 2004 when we did Senegal and also uh, Egypt, you know, March and April of 2004. And it's been, you know, really a journey of a lifetime from being 26 to now 45. It's just amazing. And just want to thank all my brothers and sisters, especially those in the, the 500 plus that have traveled with us to Africa over the last 16 years. You know? And we're not just traveling to Africa and just enjoying paradise and enjoying hospitality and just the energy of our beautiful people there on the African continent, but we also building a permanent connection, you know, from America to the African continent, and mainly uh, from America to Ghana and America to Liberia, the two main countries that we're looking to really build repatriation, investment, and straight this uh, nation building. It's a great opportunity for us, and you know, I realize, you know, from a young man in my 20s to now in my 40s, that you know, but you know, once you get to this energy. It's about accountability and responsibility. And so we have a lot of responsibility, family. And my biggest responsibility that I personally have is to make sure I do business with my brothers and sisters on the African continent. Uh, we have built great relationships. And, you know, and when you build these relationships, you learn that you have responsibilities and people are depending on you to do things with you and depending on you to keep bringing groups or keep doing business and things like that. Now, it's not just a simple thing just like that, but it's like that's part of our evolution. And even when we talk about building communities in Africa, it's something that you know, we're dedicated to because we have to grow and keep learning how to just evolve. You know, like I can't just be in you know, one business. Like, you know, this was my job you know, from the Navy, working on you know, fighter jets and working in the hangar or you know, working in a maintenance building and then with the airlines working in the hangar or just working out here in the flight line. And that was from my age of 18 years old to 28 years old. Beautiful career and excellent. And, you know, but at the same time too, you know, we have to evolve. So my evolution for us to build communities in Africa and keep building tourism to the highest level and get it to where we can you know, get more into black corporate economics and have black ownership all over the world. Like me and my brother, Kala Genesis, talk about building this incredible global black business pipeline and realize that uh, that's what we have to do because if we don't do that, you know, I have to think about our children, you know. I have a son that's 20, 12 years old and he's my, you know, technology you know, director and he's, you know, working his way up into business administration, you know. But at the same time, too, I feel like we literally need to just be more focused on what we can build for our children in the world. So I tell people all the time, you know, the city where I live at, all I see is uh, land developers building communities, building subdivision, building apartments, and building many things. Yeah? And then, and I don't see those things going on much with us as a people. It's usually just other nations, a race of people. Yeah? Yeah, so we have a great chance to build something special in Africa, and I want to make sure that we do our part and I'm also reaching out to other people to connect with us so we can also connect to where we can do things together at a higher level and do things together more consistently or consistently and also just make sure that um, 
we put the right elements in place. So when we build these wonderful communities in Africa, we're looking for skilled brothers and sisters who want to move to the African continent. Because we talk about this young generation in Africa, it's a beautiful thing, but at the same time too, we need veterans, and not just the military veterans, just veterans as far as just people who are just literally put their time into any kind of, uh, any kind of skills, any kind of career, and that will be the people that would educate our generations. You know, in America, we have all kind of skilled black people on all levels, you know what I mean? You know, but at the same time, too, that don't translate to us having the independence that we need here. But that energy can transform our connection to the African continent. So that's why we're dedicated to doing what we're doing, because we see the main point is, is for us to make sure that we put all the elements in place for our children so they could be entrepreneurs, so they could be enterprising, so they don't have to leave the African continent and put themselves in a very bad situation to try to get to Europe or America, because it's, it's a real situation. Some of our people risk their lives and then end up just things not working out. So if we build what we need to build on our African continent, then we'll be good. So that's what I'm here talking about, family. That's what we're going to be talking about more so when, when we get to Ghana and once we're you know, connecting with our people, it's a whole lot of conversation about nation building and about us building this incredible black power nation to where we can take care of our own situations and do more for our own children and our own people. So yes, family, once again, this is Bomani Time by Live on Revolutionary Camp. Let me give you a last view of this beautiful Atlanta Airport International Terminal. Definitely want to get our children into, you know, you know, an incredible career that I had, which is this uh, aviation, mainly aircraft maintenance, but this aviation in general. We live in a world where, you know, we need to take things to that next level, and airplanes and flying and doing things international is that next level. Alright, so they are ready for us to board. And I got my little Bomani Dakari there. He's always he's always shy. Make, make him say hello. Alright, mister, you're full, you ready to go? You ready to go? You look super excited. You ready? I love your colors, man. You look cool. Together you and I have on like every color that's made. <laughs> And when you're traveling, keep it simple. You know, we have the two roll-on bags right there. And then we have, our, we have our backpack. That way you don't have to be struggling with bags. The journey continues, family.